Hello everyone and welcome to the horoscopes for the week ahead and it's going to be a powerful week ahead because we're moving into Leo energy on Friday. So Monday to Friday we're still in Cancer energy, a lot of emotion around and then the energy of action as we move into fire on Friday to Sunday. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So if you are new to the channel or you're just checking in for to see what's going on, I do timestamp all the signs and they are in the description box below. So we're going to go through each sign and I'm just going to use one deck of cards for this reading today. I'm really excited about this deck. I picked up this deck when I was in Blackpool on holiday last week and this is the Victoria Francis Oracle card. So we're going to use this deck. So I'm going to look at the message and read it intuitively and then I'm going to read you what the book says because these are really powerful messages today. So what do we need to know? So thank you angels. So I've got all the signs here. So what sign are we starting with? We're starting with Taurus. Wow. So welcome Taurus. So what's the energy around you this week Taurus as we move forward into Leo energy? What's the energy please angels around Taurus for the coming week? Wow. Okay. There it is. We've got the number 18. Very powerful because 18 is about a new beginning coming in. It's a new beginning in your spiritual world that creates abundance. So I feel there's going to be something new coming into your life this week that brings in more money, more stability, you know, more financial power for you. And there's a lot of healing going on within you, you know, diving deep, seeking answers, finding your way, maybe even leaving something behind, or that could be a situation, it could be, you know, something that you've been holding on to, like a thought pattern, or even a home or a job, or you, you want to make a change, you're moving on now, so I feel this is a great message about moving on to bring in success, and the bats around you here, I'll just show you the card, the bats around you are really giving you guidance at night time. So I feel this could also be healing any darkness, you know, any dark thoughts or any dark feelings around moving forward, letting go of the fear, because it's the fear that creates the problems and the fear is a false experience appearing real. So it feels like you're moving out of the dark times, moving into better times by leaving something behind. So I want to read you what it says in the book here. So we've got the number 18. So this could even be a lucky number for you today. So we've got here, the message is, let's find it again. It says, do you sometimes feel like laugh at life is passing you by? And they're giving me the word laugh. You know, laugh at life this week. You know, laugh at things and enjoy your journey. You know, don't be so serious about things. Try and laugh about things. Try and enjoy your way, you know, the way you move forward, the way you are. Try and enjoy everything and it will make you feel better. As you look around, you see that others appear to be moving forward and achieving their dreams, but you may feel stuck in a rot. So if you feel like it's happening for everyone else, but not for you, think again, because things are now changing. You know, you're ready for a change. You're ready to move forward. You're ready for better times ahead. Bats are often referred to as the guardians of the night. So you may see bats this week and bats are showing you your truth at night time, revealing things to you, you know, helping you to see through fear, to overcome, you know, illusion, to understand things, to see things from a different perspective because bats hang upside down and that's like the hanged man in the tarot. So it's like the same delays are necessary to move you forward. So they remind you that you were being looked after and cared for even if you feel alone. So it really does feel like, you know, even if you feel alone this week, you're not alone. You know, you were supported, protected and guided by angels. You were safe and the angels have got your back. That symbolise rebirth and suggest that you are about to start a new phase in your life. So there's a new phase coming in for you, Taurus, which is really powerful. And this is why I feel this moving away from something, you know, moving away from the energy of the past to bring the new in. And that could be leaving behind an old thought pattern or a job or, you know, a home or a lifestyle or even a relationship moving forward. So if you're cross watching for your twin flame, you know, this is a really powerful sign of change and 
also determination to move things forward. The opportunities around you are abundant. So you've got plenty of opportunities, plenty to do. If you were not able to see this now, then you need to look harder. So look closer at things. Things will make sense. Opportunities may not come knocking at your door, but rather you will have to knock on its door. So in other words, you're going to be shown the way. It's up to you to take action. And that's why you may have to leave something behind or, you know, walk away from something. And you may think, well, there's nothing really I need to walk away from, Let's. Well, it could be something that you're holding on to in your mind. It could be, you know, a core belief system or even some codependent behaviour or an addiction, something you're holding on to. You have the power to let go of that. You know, you have the power to change your thinking from negative to positive. Thinking that your cup is full now instead of half empty. I feel this is you making a decision to change your life. You have plenty of stability behind you. So you're supported. You've got the support you need, whether that's in the physical world, by friends, family, or, you know, people who love you, or in the spiritual world by angels and guides and your loved ones. You have plenty of stability and therefore any risks you take right now are minimal. So you're going to be okay. You know, if you see a change that you're making as a big risk, it will be okay. You'll be supported. You know, even if you fall down, you'll get back up. This could be a very influential time in your life. So embrace it because wonderful things are on the horizon. What a beautiful message. So the message for you is whatever you decide to leave behind, whatever you walk away from, you know, this is a lot like the Eight of Cups in the Tarot here, making that decision to move forward for you. Whatever you decide to leave behind or change, it will work out for you because something better is coming, good is on the horizon and you are safe. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Next sign then, who are we doing next then? Who are we doing next? We're doing Sagittarius. Welcome Sagittarius. So, and here you are in your power, you know, as the archer that you are. So what's the message for you? Wow, jumped out the deck there. So the message for you Sagittarius is 23. And we've got the two is about working as a partnership and a team with the universe and three is to have faith. So I really feel the message for you this week is to have faith that you are supported, that you are being guided and all is well. And to not worry about things and take an opportunity when it's given to you. So this is about you going deep within. Okay, I'm going to read you the message in the book, but when I'm looking at this intuitively, I feel that, you know, you're definitely going through a bit of a kind of third eye awakening here. You know, their eyes are closed there, but you've got this powerful energy around the third eye. So you're being asked to look closer, to look deeper, to look through a situation, to not see with your physical eyes, but to, you know, pay attention and observe with your spiritual eyes to understand the truth that there's great things ahead for you and that you are a nurturing energy. You know, you are a natural nurture of others and that brings in protection and safety. So you're being shown that you are protected no matter what's happening around you, trust in what you see with your third eye over your physical eyes. So if something's going on in the physical world that may be upsetting to you this week or you may not like the look of, Try and see it from a higher point of view because everything happens for a reason. Even the things that trigger you, heal you and grow you. So what's the message for you this week then? So the message for you is that, yeah, this is all about awareness, coming into awareness and creating harmony from that awareness and breathing. There is so much wisdom and psychic potential within you. So you are a wise one. You know, you are a psychic being and you've got the potential to kind of grab hold of all of that talent and share it with the world and make something of it. So if you haven't done that yet, if it's on your mind, if you're thinking of changing things or working more on your spiritual career or moving towards your spiritual enlightenment or your advancement of what you're already doing, this is the perfect week to do it. But you are not listening to what your heart is telling you. So listen to your heart this week. And that's why we have to stop looking so much at the, the physical world. Especially, you know, if you're dealing with a situation where, you know, you're a twin flame, your person is with someone else, they may have a karmic partner or there may be a block there or a challenge and 
you know, you're paying attention through what you can physically see or, you know, what other people are saying to you or people are getting in your head about things and the angels are asking you to follow your heart because that's where the power is, to listen to your heart. You know your truth. You know, you know what's real by the way you feel. You know what makes sense to you because you're the one walking your journey and walking your path is as you only have to tap into it to awaken these primal senses. So again, a primal sense is tapping in with your third eye because that's who you are as a spiritual being. Your inability not to trust your instincts is leading you down a path which feels uncertain. So if you're going through any fear or any doubt or any negativity, you're not allowing yourself to listen to your intuition or your higher self. So again, you could be paying attention too much to the physical world instead of, you know, closing your eyes and trusting what you feel, what you think, what you what you see with your third eye. It says you you are feeling frustrated as things do not seem to be working out in your favor. So again, if things are feeling stuck, you know, if you feel like they're working out for everyone else but not for you, see the reason behind it. There's a reason you're learning something here. You're growing from this experience. And quite understandable, you are feeling demoralized. So again, you know, you may feel like, what's the point? You may feel like you want to give up. The angels are asking you not to. The angels are saying to you, just go within, close your eyes and listen to that primal need within you for what you want or that primal instinct to follow your heart, not your head, to be in the energy of love, not logic, to trust yourself. You must learn to trust. Do not hide your potential. Bring it out into the world and shine your light. And you will be amazed at how quickly life can turn around for the better when your heart and soul are in harmony. How beautiful. So follow your heart this week. Do things in harmony with your soul and your vibration and what you want. And don't be afraid to speak out or be you or show the world who you really are because that's your power and that's your truth. And you are the archer, you know, so have a vision, set your focus on it and the universe will work with you to do the rest. You've been asked to have faith. Trust what you feel. Trust what your heart is saying to you. Trust your intuition and what you're seeing in your third eye. And that will help you to overcome fear and see past the pain. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Okay, next sign then. We're doing Leo. Welcome Leo. And there you are, the strong lion. You're powerful. We're moving into your sign this week. So, you know, if you are moving into your birthday time, happy birthday. And remember, we'll be doing daily Leo readings from Friday. So it'll be a pleasure to read for you. So let's pull you a card. We're going to read it intuitively and then do a message. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Leo for the week ahead? Here we go. Wow, you've got the number eight here. And this is about healing things. Healing things from the childhood. You know, healing things from the past. It's about releasing things. You know, you can see there as well, you've got kind of that broken teddy bear. So this is about broken dreams being restored. You know, maybe you've had your heart broken a little bit and you're still healing. And I feel Archangel Jeremiah around you saying to you, you're on the right path. Whatever you've been through, it's grown you. You know, you've had your heart broken for a reason because it's made you strong and powerful. Especially now as we move into your time, you know, you, the Lion's Gate portal is opening for you. There's power flowing it. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be you, to be a bit flamboyant, you know, I feel this also about you stepping into your truth and showing the world who you truly are, and there's a lot of that around the signs this week, a lot of power flowing in, so the message is saying to you here for this week ahead, when you recognize that, oh my god, when, you, yeah, this is also about beauty being within, okay, so when you recognize who you are, so it's about recognizing your beauty, the power of you, and trusting in you, so childhood memories, and this could also be memories connected with your twin flame or with a previous love or something that's happened, whether it's happy or dysfunctional, may be at the forefront of your mind. So you may be going over the past this week, trying to understand it or heal from it or work it out. You may be thinking about how your life could have been different 
for what could have been if you had taken a different path. So maybe going over the past now, wishing you'd have done something differently or wondering if you can change something. And the angel's saying the power is in the now. Okay, the past is gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted and understood. And that everything happened in that moment for a reason. And everything took place the way it was meant to for a divine reason to move you forward and make you stronger, to help you to be who you were truly born to be. There is no place for tears or regret in your forward journey. So the angel's saying, don't regret anything you've done because everything has grown you. You know, release it now and feel alive, feel free, feel present in the now. What's done is done. So remember, you know, karma will sort things out, relax and breathe. What's done is done. Forgive. So another big sign here to forgive, to forgive the past, to forgive yourself, maybe to forgive your person. It's important to remember that you are in control of what happens next. So you have the power within you to change your life. You know, you have the power, you are strong. You're exactly where you're meant to be. Do not allow vulnerability to be your weakness. Rather, allow the challenges of the past to become your strength. Hanging on to old negative emotions will hinder you. They serve no purpose now except to learn from them. It is important that you seek a positive way to deal with negative memories. Do not allow them to clutter your mind. So you're releasing negative energy. You're releasing negative thoughts, especially connected with the past, and you are healing them. If negative thoughts come in, push them away with positive dreams and ideas. So have positive thoughts this week, positive dreams. Set your intention. Instead of focusing on the past, focus on the now. Remember you are safe, loved, protected. There's nothing to fear. You're moving forward. And I certainly feel as we move into your time on Friday, you're going to feel stronger. So it's an opportunity now to grow, especially because your birthday is ahead. So see your birthday as a day of rebirth. You know, right, it's time now to put the past behind me and move forward fearlessly into a new kind of year because it will be new or new year, whatever age you are, you're evolving and see it as a positive. And remember that beauty is within you. You are safe, you're protected and the angels have got you and there's nothing to fear. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Okay, next sign then. Who are we doing next then? We're doing a Scorpio. Welcome. So thank you for being here, sending you so much love. So what's the energy around you, Scorpio, for this coming week as we move into Leo energy? What's the energy, please, angels, around Scorpio? Here we go. Wow, we've got the number five. And five is all about change. So I feel there's some big changes coming into your life. And I am tapping in with the energy here, you know, in this card. So you could also be kind of sitting there trying to work it all out. You know, wondering what the changes will bring. Perhaps you're working out what changes you need to make. Especially, I feel, for your person. You know, your person may be deciding what to do. And intuitively, I'm seeing, you know, if your person is with someone else right now, if they are in a karmic situation, it may be causing you pain. But the angels are reminding you that karmic situations always lead your person where they're meant to be. Everything happens for a reason. You are safe. So you're coming to terms with things. So the angels are asking you to release any pain, you know, any kind of tears here because things are healing you. You're growing, you're evolving, you're finding your way and everything happens to grow your soul. So let's see what the angels are saying here. So the feminine energy within you. So obviously this is for divine feminines here too. So, you know, obviously this reading is for anyone in Scorpio energy, but most of you watching will be a divine feminine or you will be a divine feminine cross watching for your masculine. So the feminine energy within you needs to be nurtured. So you're being reminded today, you know, as you move into this new week, that if you aren't receiving the love you want from your person, if they're with someone else or, you know, if you feel like you're not receiving what you should receive, even from family or friends, give it back to you. This is your message, Scorpio, to nurture you. So this is a week where giving back to you will really kind of heal and help you. There is a feeling of sadness which at times may be overwhelmed. This may be due to you feeling unsupported. So if you feel overwhelmed with emotion or things are getting to you a little bit, you feel things are a bit overwhelming, 
It's because you may feel like you're not being given what you deserve. So give back to you. You are supported. You may not feel like it in the physical world right now. Maybe you're not getting that support from your person or even friends or family. Maybe you feel like everyone wants something from you. Give back to you. You know, be a bit selfish if you need to. Turn off your phone and say no to people and do you. So I feel this is a very kind of feeling week for you where you're going within. A bit of a hermit energy as well coming in around you where, you know, you will heal within yourself. When you realise everything happens for a reason, if they were someone else right now, they're learning, maybe they're posting pictures on social media, you know, you're wondering what they're up to behind closed doors, trust your journey and trust in the power of love. There are strong women in your life whom will help to guide you. So I feel this is other divine feminines. You know, even if you were a guy watching this, you have strong divine feminine energy within you and around you. So this is all the strong divine feminines or strong women. It could be a mom, it could be a sister, it could be a guide around you, guiding you, supporting you and influencing your life. This is the right time to connect with them. So this is going to be a great week for you to connect with feminine energy or, you know, other kind of female energy. So friends or people who've got your back. You do not have to walk any path alone unless you choose to do so. So the angel's saying it's up to you what happens next. You know, you're never alone. Even when there's nobody around, you have got angels by your side and you can choose to harness that power. You know, you can choose to ignore that kind of strength being given to you and that guidance being given to you or they're giving me fear and that puts you into more fear. Or you can say, oh, take a deep breath. I can do this. I'm surrounded by love and light and protected. And that's the power of heaven. Wise words are needed to bring sense to a current situation. So maybe you're seeing things, you know, through ego or fear, especially connecting with a karmic energy here. And, you know, you're going to be given the right guidance this week to help you to carry on, to stay strong, to understand that you were never alone and you were safe. You may be fearful of speaking out, but holding back will only bring resentment and anger and will prevent you from progressing. So maybe you're holding on to pain and anger over a karmic situation or an energy. And the angels are asking you to get that out of your system this week. And a great way to do that is writing down your feelings because you're expressing it, but you're not causing any issues by doing that. You know, sometimes we can kind of send a message to our twin flame and it can be very angry and then we regret doing it. So if you write it down instead, it will heal it. It will get the emotion and the resentment and the pain out of you. And then you can even take it one step further and do a response back. So, for example, if your person is with someone else right now and it's really getting to you or, you know, hurting you in some way, write it down and say to them, you know, you've really hurt me. It angers me that you can't see the truth. Why can't you do, you know, what what you should do? Because that might be in you. You know, and you may be being all positive and happy and thinking, you know, I'm, I'm having compassion, understanding, but there may be a deep part of you that needs to come out and heal. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Allow yourself to feel those emotions, Scorpio. Allow yourself to write it down and you'll feel better. You know, you don't want to say it to them directly because it will just cause pressure and it will, you know, barriers will go up. Just release it all, write it down or tell the angels about it, you know. Sit down, close the door, turn off your phone and get it all out your system, even if you have to cry or scream or shout. And then try and turn it into gratitude. But I'm so grateful that it's teaching me patience. It's teaching me who I am. It's teaching me to overcome jealousy because I am enough and, you know, nothing can change that. Nothing can break our love. Nothing can break our bond. So this is about you realizing your truth and your power, turning sadness into gratitude, which heals and brings in peace and love and bliss. So turn things around today. You have the power this week to change the way you see your life. I hope that helps, okay? Wow, next sign. Aries energy, welcome Aries. So what's coming in for you this week as we move into Leo? So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for Aries? Here it is. We've got the number 30. Wow. 
So this is asking you to have faith in your dreams and your power. Maybe you're feeling a bit defensive this week. You know, maybe you're kind of putting barriers around you this week. You may also feel like people are draining your energy a little bit this week. So you have to shield yourself. So I'm actually seeing this as you putting a divine shield around yourself this week to protect your energy. You know, if people are draining you or, you know, if there's any negativity around you, shield yourself. Archangel Michael will help you to do that. You may also be putting barriers around yourself. This is also a message for you to open your heart up again, you know, and to feel loved, especially if you feel someone has been an energy vampire. You know, they showed me that there, if you can see in the card there. I feel someone is draining your energy or, you know, being a bit like an energy vampire around you. So you have to shield your energy. Maybe you want to open your heart and be kind and loving, but, you know, you're being taken a bit for granted or, you know, someone isn't appreciating you or respecting you. So shield yourself this week. So let's see what the angels want you to know. So the message is you feel the need to protect yourself. Yeah, so there's definitely this need to protect yourself, to put a shield around you this week. Don't let feelings of hurt and misunderstandings change who you are. So you know, don't allow anyone to dull your sparkle or dim your light this week because you know your truth and your power. So stand up for what you believe in. Protect yourself if you need to. Walk away if you need to and do you. It's completely natural to put up barriers, but far better to face situations head on than to let them fester. So I also feel some healing coming in for you this week. You know, Archangel Raguel around you, helping you to sort out any misunderstandings or any complications. So there could be an opportunity to communicate this week, to speak your truth. And, you know, you may have to put barriers up too, or set down boundaries or, you know, speak your about your needs and what you want. There are many wonderful opportunities ahead. And I just heard a motorcycle revving up. And obviously, if you're a twin flame, you'll recognize that because I spoke about that the other day. Things revving up, things moving forward, action being taken. There are many wonderful opportunities ahead. So do not let other people's attitudes and prejudices change who you are. Okay, so if someone is angering you, maybe there's something going on around you that's really getting to you. You know, there could be something that's angering you in some way like racism or something that you're seeing going on in the world and you've got to protect yourself from that energy you know so you don't get dragged into that pain you are a strong and beautiful person see the lessons of the last few months as a learning curve so you've clearly been going through something over the last few months that's learned new things and taught you things and grown your soul See the lessons as a learning curve. However negative the situations may have felt in the past, they were challenges which have made you stronger, not weaker. So you're being reminded that anything you've been through, it's made you stronger, not weaker. If you feel you have been let down, and that could be by your twin flame, it could be by friends, colleagues, and this is why you're putting this kind of you know, shield around you because you may feel like you've been let down. You may feel like you haven't been respected or appreciated or treated right. Find a way to cope and deal with it as vengeance is never the answer. So forgive, forgive everyone, including yourself and let go. If you are this way inclined, then be vengeful by shining your light brighter because those who you feel have done wrong by you will be affected more by your success than seeing your vulnerability. How true is that? So shine your light brighter. You know, shine your light. Don't let anyone dim your sparkle. Shine brighter. Embrace the moment and let go. The right people will come into your life when the time is right. So another big sign here about, you know, divine timing is at work in your journey, especially in your twin flame journey. Uh, you need to take a deep breath. It says right now, take a deep breath, start a new day free from worry and fear. So see this as a new day, a new week, a new start. Don't worry about anything, give it to heaven. And wherever you go, whatever you do, Archangel Michael is with you. You can imagine him shielding, shielding you, you know, with a bright shield of protection or even walking in front of you with his amazing sword, kind of cutting away obstacles and, you know, moving things out of the way for you and shielding you from heart 
So don't let things get to you this week. Don't take things personally. Instead, breathe, shine your light brighter and know your truth. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Well, next sign we're doing then is Libra energy. So welcome Libra. So let's see what's coming in for you for this week ahead. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Libra for this coming week? What do we need to know for Libra? Here we go. We've got number three. And number three is a power number. It means the ascended masters are all around you to have faith in your dreams. And when I'm tapping in with this card, I really feel goddess energy around you. You know, confidence, strength, power, integrity. So a really good week for you to feel in your power, to know your truth, to stand strong, to be confident, to balance your energy, you know, to show the world the real you. So the energy coming in around you then for this week ahead why do you not see the light shining within you when others do? So this is reminding you of your power. And this is very powerful as we move into Leo energy on Friday because that's confident energy. So as you move towards the latter part of the week, you're going to feel stronger and more confident. And the angels are kind of saying to you, why can't you see your light? You know, how bright you are, how you sparkle and shine and see yourself through the eyes of the angels. And I feel this is a big message for you, you know, that your twin flame sees you as this powerful light, you know, this empress energy, the goddess, the lighthouse. So remember your power, know who you are, remember your truth. I've got Archangel Zachiel coming through as well for that, reminding you of your power. What are you afraid of revealing, which is stopping you from discovering your true potential? So be the real you. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid to hurt anyone or, you know, tread on eggshells. Be you. The time has come to remove the mask you show to the world and to be your true self. And this is really powerful, especially if you're cross-watching for your divine masculine, because it's time for them to reveal themselves to the world. It's time for them to take off that mask and be authentic. So whatever's happening this week, be you. Okay, be the real you because you are perfect as you are and you were designed perfectly right now in this moment for your journey. You feel the need to protect yourself from emotional harm, but you have nothing to fear from stepping in the limelight as things can only change for the better. So maybe you feel like you're holding things back a little bit this week. You're not sure what's coming. There may be unknown feelings or emotions or energies around you but you are safe and protected, success is ahead. If you are feeling blocked with a little effort, you can push through this difficult period in your life and conquer whatever is holding you back. So the angels have got you. All you need is confidence to move forward, confidence to go for your dreams and desires, confidence in your connection, confidence in who you are. And Archangel Gabriel will give you that confidence you need to be you, to stand up for what you believe in, to speak your truth, to be proud of who you are. This is a time for change. It says you are on the brink of change. You just need the encouragement and support to know that you are heading for the right path. So the angel's saying to you, you're on the right path. There's nothing to fear. So if you start seeing 17 or 717, a big sign of change and power for you. The light ahead of you shines bright and opportunities are calling. Don't allow fear of the unknown to stand in your way. Embrace the challenges ahead. They will be the making of you. So everything that you're going through, all the challenges, obstacles and struggles, they are the making of you because they're making you strong, confident and standing in your power, helping you to find balance, helping you to understand your truth, to gain you know, justice in who you are by knowing who you are. So be you this week, Libra, and everything else will fall into place. I hope that helps. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Wow. Next sign is Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. And this is also about gratitude. You know, I love this card because it's kind of like you're opening the doors and you're looking at the sunlight. So see this week as a new week. Be grateful for things. Focus on love, not fear. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for Gemini for this week ahead? Wow, we've got to love this one. This is the branch card. Look at this, number seven. Don't give up on your journey. You know, you've got this beautiful branch here. You were supported. You were safe. You were loved. So the angels saying go with the flow. OK, 
Now, if things have seemed a bit dark around you, start looking for the good in things and go with the flow. You have the support you need from heaven. You are safe. You are protected and you're exactly where you're meant to be. So the message for you is this. When you recognize that beauty is within, your sense of self-worth becomes more confident and stronger. So beauty is within you and it's all around you when you're grateful and you look for the power in things and the reason behind things. Everything starts to make sense. Through the murky waters, the tree represents strength. The need to hold on to some sort of stability is important now. Maybe because there have been many changes of late. So the angels saying you have the strength you need to move forward. And any change you've been going through, you've been given exactly what you need. If you have been through recent emotional turmoil, then allow yourself to be supported by those who can help you be strong, even if it's just a kind word from someone who cares. So remember, you have the support all around you here on the channel. Your guides are with you. Your angels love you. You have support from heaven. You know, you have people around that you can call on and you are supported and safe. The stillness of the water suggests you may be holding in what needs to be said. So there may still be things needed to be said, whether that's to your twin flame, you know, maybe to a karmic person or someone in your life. But, you know, you have that power to speak your truth. You will find the words to deal with a delicate situation. Trust your intuition. Listen to your inner voice and the right time will become clear to you. So the angel is saying it will all become clear what you need to do. All you have to do is hold on, trust the journey and don't give up. Be grateful. Focus on the good in things. Wake up ready for the day, knowing that everything is always working out for you and that you are safe. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Well, okay, next card we're doing then, we're doing Pisces. Welcome Pisces. So this is your weekly reading. So let's see what you need to know for this week ahead. What do we need to know for Pisces? Wow, the number 11, very powerful. So a great awakening or ascension coming in around you, you know, seeing the truth. If you feel like you've been in any dark times, you're finding your way out of that darkness. You're coming up for air, you're breathing again. And you may start seeing the number 11, 11 as a reminder the universe has got your back. Not necessarily about your awakening because you're already awakened, but more about knowing the universe has got you. And if you start seeing 111, you know, 111, big sign to believe, to have faith and trust. And this is your power, you know, knowing that everything happens for a reason and trusting that you are innocent and so is your twin and that you're both being guided, you're both being shown the way, you're both healing and learning. And I really feel Archangel Honeyell when I'm connecting with this card here, bringing peace in. Helping you to feel better after a stormy sea. So the six of swords energy, moving into karma waters, you know, finding your way. They're giving me fear, releasing any fear. So we've got the number 11, which is powerful in itself for your journey. And he says there is a beautiful flow of energy around you. So there's beautiful energy starting to flow into your life and to flow into your connection this week. Your energy is high and people around you can sense and feel the glow exuberating from your aura. So this is saying to you, if you allow it to be, because remember you have the power, if you allow it to be, this is going to be a magical week, a week where you leave behind any darkness and you start shining bright and you're offering to the world and yourself a high vibration that others are picking up on. So others are seeing you glow, including your twin flame. And you know what they say, you know, when you glow up, they grow up. And that's in Beyond Indigo's debt there in those cards. So they see you glow up, you know, shine your light bright and they want to be with you to grow up. So you being you and shining your light is bringing everything you want home. Your positive energy is rubbing off on others. OK, so you have got this positive vibration this week that's going to rub off on others. They will be aware of psychic vampires, those who drain your energy when they see your light shining bright. And, you know, there's always those people around, you know, they want to drag you down or take your energy. So make sure you're shielding yourself too. If you feel you are in the need for healing, this card suggests that you reconnect with nature. Wow. So if there's anything you're going through physically or even emotionally, anything that you feel needs to, 
you know, change or you need to recover from, go in nature, feel the energy of the elements, you know, healing you, whether that be the sun and the heat or, you know, the energy of water or the earth, you know, even cleansing rain, whatever your energy is when you go outdoors, that's what's going to rejuvenate you. Feel the grass beneath your feet. So take off your socks, shoes, trainers, whatever you're wearing and feel the grass under your feet. Even if you have to go to a park or, you know, connect in someone's garden, do it and it'll make you feel better. And the air on your face or do something which will help you to feel rejuvenated. The air on your face, the wind, you know, that beautiful energy where if you're by the ocean, you feel the ocean breeze. So be in the energy of nature. And if you can't go into nature for whatever reason, close your eyes and put on some sounds of nature and it will help you to feel safe or do a meditation that connects you back with nature. This is an excellent time to tap into your inner thoughts. Your mind is calm and receptive. There are times when we all need to step out of the rat race and be kind to ourselves. And this is your time now. So in other words, you may need some time out. You know, you may want to just be with yourself this week, go for a walk or, you know, go in nature, turn off your phone, come off social media, do what feels right for you to bring in healing for you. And it's going to open doorways and bring in strength. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Next card is Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius. So I feel a lot of surrender coming in around you this week. You know, you're throwing your arms up in the air. You're feeling good. You're feeling in your power. So what do we need to know? Yeah, look at this. We've got love. Love. And this is about, you know, reuniting in love. So I feel that the more you surrender, the more things will happen in love. So a great message for twin flames here could be communication coming in, you know, a re like reuniting coming back together, reunion, could also be coming into union. So there's a lot of change happening because you've surrendered, you're letting go, you're giving it to God, you know, you're giving it to heaven. You're kind of saying what will be, will be. And you're letting go of all that burden, all that stress and all that fear. So it's bringing towards you exactly what you want. So I feel, you know, there could definitely be some of you reuniting with your one you know, or moving into a real relationship this week or something solid. So the message is number two, which is obviously about partnership and healing. So the message for you is this, relationships may appear perfect on the outside, but something deeper is going on right now. So I feel this is also a sign for you, you know, if your person is with someone else, and you seem to think, oh, it's all going on wonderfully, there's something going on behind the scenes. Remember, it's not all as it seems on social media or in the world. In other words, you know, their heart is with you. And you've kind of, you're understanding that this week, you're letting go. So don't take anything personally connected with a karmic situation. Instead, start to see with your third eye instead of your physical eyes. Remember what you feel is real. But when I'm connecting with this energy, I feel this is a very positive sign of things to come for you in your love life. There may be a feeling of mistrust or a gut feeling that something is not quite right. So let go of any fear around loyalty, trust in the journey. You know, if they've hurt you, forgive them, let that go. So we're definitely feeling here about healing things to bring you into union or into reunion to move towards union. If you were thinking about a past relationship, you must release or deal with the issues in order to move on and let go. So in other words, you must forgive your twin. You know, heal the past, let go to move it forward. Don't put past relationships on a pedestal. There was a reason why they didn't work out. So you're also being reminded that, you know, your past relationships were catalyst to union or they were kind of a catapult to where you are now. So I feel this is a deep realisation of why karmic situations occur. You know, coming to terms with things, understanding things on a much deeper level. It's likely the problems are not as great as you may feel and can be resolved. Be honest. So be honest with yourself. Things will be resolved. Things will be healed. Okay? No matter what it says in this book, I feel this book is talking about healing and forgiveness and releasing the past. And I'm seeing in the card intuitively reunion energy, connecting, coming back together, 
honest heart to heart conversations, speaking the truth. Why? Because you've surrendered. You've given it to heaven. You're starting to trust. If you are looking for love, so if you're single, it may be closer than you realize. You know, if you're in separation, reunion is closer than you realize. If you're in communication, union is closer than you realize. You may see a friend or acquaintance in a different light as it's only lack of confidence on both sides, which is stopping a union. And those are the exact words they're using, stopping a union. Okay, confidence on both sides. So you need to have confidence in this connection this week because that's what's going to lead to union. And, you know, maybe you do look at someone and think, wow, you've seen them in a different light. This could also be a big sign if you're cross-watching that your person has seen you with fresh eyes this week, wanting to admit their feelings to you, their truth to you, and move into union because it's only the lack of confidence or insecurity around things holding back the union. So a big message for you about things happening, things changing and falling into place. Beautiful message. I hope that helps. Wow. Next sign then, well on the floor there. So the next sign is Virgo. Welcome Virgo. So let's see what the energy is around you for this beautiful, powerful week ahead. What do we need to know? Two cards coming out. So we've got number one and number 35. So this is to have faith in a new beginning and the changes are coming in. So you're kind of understanding things on a deeper level, you know, cleansing yourself. I feel this is you restoring yourself this week, moving you where you're meant to be. And we've also got this energy here where, you know, there's a lot of power in this card here. I feel high priestess energy, kind of hierophant energy with this. So you're being shown what to do. So I'm going to read you both cards because I feel they're important, where I feel that you're tapping in with your high priestess energy, your intuition, your telepathy, and it's connecting you with your truth. So the message says, if there's any despair around you or loneliness and it's overwhelming you, release it now. So you're releasing negative emotions, you're healing of the self. And this says you're figuring out who you are, you're evaluating things and you're working out what to do. So you may be having high and low emotions, you know, ups and downs, understanding. And the water here, it's saying it's, it's a stagnant period, but there's plenty you can do. So in other words, if things feel stuck, there's plenty you can do. It's up to you. Trust yourself. Listen to your heart. Follow your dreams. Start setting intentions. Start being grateful for what you have now to bring more in. But I feel this is a real period in your life where you are reevaluating things, understanding what you want and what you don't want, and letting go of what needs to go so that you can be reborn here in this kind of high priestess energy leading to power and faith. So I feel this is the real card for you. So the number for you, 35. That may be significant for you this week. But it says, as you work your way through life's obstacles, you will suddenly turn a corner and arrive at a clear path. So if things have felt stuck, you know, if you've kind of seen everyone else moving forward on this journey and you felt stuck, things are about to change. I feel Archangel Nathaniel around you removing obstacles. So if you see bulldozers this week or you know, things being moved out of the way or any roadworks or anything like that. It's reminding you delays are necessary and happen for a reason to move you where you're meant to be. You must find time to slow down and take each day as it comes. So don't rush anything. You know, don't pressure things. There's no need to rush. Be patient. Take your time. The need to move quietly forward is important now. You do not have to rush decisions. Just take them as they come. So be flexible, be adaptable, be patient and calm with yourself, with your person and with your life. And this is another thing we go through here, you know, in Virgo energy, you know, you can be a perfectionist, you want it right, you want it now, you know, demanding it a certain way, let go of that and go with the flow of this life. Making the right choice is imperative to how things will work out in the future. So don't stress because the worst is behind you and the future is looking bright. So there's no need to worry about anything. Remember, you've been through a lot. So be kind to yourself and take things at the pace of your choosing. So be kind to yourself. Be compassionate. Don't rush. Take your time this week to get where you want to be. But things are changing moving forward. Let go of fear. Thank you because obstacles are being removed. Very powerful. 
Two signs left. Who are we doing next then? We're doing Capricorn. Welcome, Capricorn. So what's coming in for you for this powerful week ahead? What's coming in for you? Wow, we've got 29. And I feel this about happiness, you know, realisation, things falling into place. The sun is shining on you this week. So, you know, taking time for you, taking time, relaxing, breathing, realising what you want. You know, you could say this is a little bit of a selfish card because you're putting your own self first, but you're becoming the magician. So you're taking control to move towards your happiness. So the message is very powerful 29. Let's read it for you. There are times in life when we just need to stop and reflect on where we are on our path. Okay, so it's a time for you this week. There is no sorrow here, just a need to have a goal. Something to plan for and look forward to. So the angels are asking you to ask for what you want. So it's a great week for you to set intention. Because when you ask and you believe, then you receive. So asking for what you want. Meditation and visualization may be needed to calm the mind and give you some guidance. To give you a form of direction. To heal your heart and to move you forward where you're meant to be. To ask for what you desire. Whatever you need to do to relax, find the time to do it. So a great week to relax. I'm feeling four of swords energy in this card. Time out, breathing, meditation, you know, visualization, having that vision of what you want, asking for it, trusting in it, connecting with heaven too. Remembering that you are the magician of your life. You hold the wand and you are a creator. When days are overloaded with the demands of modern life, it can be stressful. And sometimes we need permission to be kind to ourselves. So give yourself a break. There's no need to rush. If you've got a lot going on, take some time out for you. And make plans to do the things that make you happy. Reconnect with nature, walk, dance, laugh, whatever it is. Time to be just you is much needed now. And I feel that, you know, when I turn the card over, it's like a selfish card. Do you this week, Capricorn. Say no if you need to. Switch off your phone. Do you, and that will bring power in and move everything you want forward into your life. I hope that helps, okay? And last but not least, Cancer, and I'm a Cancer, and you know, it's me and my pleasure to do daily readings for you, and you know, we finish your dailies on Thursday, but it's been a pleasure. Make sure you're checking out the daily angel readings too. So what's the energy coming in around you, Cancer, for this week ahead? Here we go. We've got two cards. Wow. We've got the numbers four and 36. So four is about angel protection, you know, being guided. I'm also seeing that rose as an apology. So there could be an apology coming to you this week. And 36 is about dancing in the rain. Look, she's holding an umbrella there. You are protected and safe. You know, relaxing about things, releasing the past healing, having faith in your 3D world, trusting the journey. So number four is saying to you here, We've got, why do you not see, oh, hang on, why do you not see the light shining in you, okay? You may feel after a long personal journey that you have had to make sacrifices in order to change things, but remember your power. Although your journey has been long and at times difficult, life often works out for the best, even though you may be questioning the motives of others, and if this has all been in vain. So maybe you're thinking, what's been the point of this? Why? And the angels are reminding you everything happens for a reason. And you are learning to be patient. You're learning to love your life. You're learning what true patience is. You know, not waiting around for something to happen, but learning to love your life. Learning to dance in the rain. Learning to shield yourself. There is a sense you may be feeling unfocused, lost, unloved, and uncertain of which path you should now take. Well, I don't feel that's connected with you. I feel that that could possibly be the energy of your twin flame or your person you're connecting with, feeling, you know, uncertain of the future, you know, feeling unworthy of your love. And this is asking you, Cancer, to give them love, to send love out, to be you, to shine your light. Because when I'm tapping in with this, and, you know, this is why sometimes, I, you know, for most of the time I throw the guidebook away because I trust in the intuition. I'm seeing this in the, as an apology. Okay, I'm seeing this as your person coming towards you, apologizing to you for maybe being unloving towards you or hiding their emotion or, you know, not making a decision. 
and that's coming in and you're being asked to have patience at this time and to trust the journey as this all unfolds because you're learning to dance in the rain so i feel this is definitely the energy of your cards the energy of your week the number 36 and i'm seeing that as releasing the past healing the past moving on from you know a hard situation or a period of divine change which resonates with me because you know this is like leaving behind the death of my mom you know releasing anything that needs to go realizing that you were safe and supported the ability to look and feel confident when there is chaos around you is an art However, it shows how much you have grown as a person in the last few years. And that's exactly what I'm feeling, that you can deal with anything because you are powerful. Challenges have made you stronger and you can hold your head high and be proud of what you have achieved. You have an air of confidence about you. Others can see it too and are watching you blossom into the person you wish to be. You are protected and connected to your higher self, a beautiful gift. Learn to use this wisely and watch life expand beautifully. This is more your energy. This is the energy of your twin wanting to apologize to you, feeling unworthy and, you know, a bit scared because of your power. Because everything you've been through on this journey, Cancer, has made you strong and powerful, whether that's been in your twin flame or your personal journey. You are thriving right now. There are messages all around you. And this is you seeing that messages in clouds, messages in signs, synchronicities, music numbers, and messages all around you, which I feel could be communication and apology coming in. Open your eyes to synchronicities, spirit is talking to you and showing you the way. So remember, you are a psychic being and you're being guided. So this week, you're receiving all the answers you need. You're being shown the way. You're being guided in the signs. And I feel an apology coming. So trust in that all as well. You are learning to dance in the rain. You are learning that you can overcome anything and release the past and move forward into a brighter future. What a beautiful message. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.